I'm here with Mr. Bernard Rittick, the Associate Director of Owings & Mirrell in Skidmore. Do you think locally specific design will stay the same for Poland and the CE region? Well, um, I mean, I think it, it's it's not so easy to define what locally specific design actually is, but I, I'm sure there's something that has developed here historically and, and changed over time in, in the period of the so the modern revolution, then, then post-war, and, and now it's maybe a new period. But So I think there will be something that, that remains consistent. And I also could imagine that, that sort of doing more climatically aware architecture, more sustainable architecture, can also create sort of a new typical local identity because if you react to the local weather, let's say, or to the local climate, it will be automatically grounded in, in some local character and, and then therefore so I think it will evolve obviously but, but hopefully there will be some continuity throughout history. Uh, what is the latest trend in architecture do you think which will have a huge impact in the future of the industry and why? Wow I think I mean I'm, I'm speaking more from a master planning perspective but I think uh, Big big data and, and, and smart cities is, is sort of a trend that, that's talked about a lot and a lot and, and a lot of it can mean so many different things. So so and nobody has an answer yet, but I think it it is a tool in the end that will help us measure sort of what what many, many people sort of finally get an idea of, of what let's say the people <laughs> as a whole want, how they behave, what they do. So finally find a measure of maybe a, me a way of measuring people's behavior and, and potentially that could influence the way we, we build buildings in a more radical way than, than we ever did before.